listen to this from the man I love. Never settle, ladies. Welcome back. In this particular episode, we're going to be uh, looking at a video that really highlights a possible double standard uh, when it comes to relationships. And if you watch my channel for any period of time, you can probably put together what it is that I'm going to center on in regards to this particular video. But before we get into the content of the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But then also, if you enjoy the content, uh, don't hesitate to share it with family members and friends because I'm sure that they'll enjoy it also. So let's get into the video and see what we can find out. Three men to... was mentioned we are going to uh, dive into the video we're going to look at a few things now um, from the very beginning let's lay some ground rules I am looking at the video and I am interpreting what I'm seeing as a young lady uh, that is uh, that she has a boyfriend right she's in one committed monogamous relationship and yet she's going out with two other guys. Now I am absolutely open to the possibility that this uh, relationship that she has uh, may be open. It could be. Uh, she could be in an open relationship with all of these gentlemen. Uh, but herein lies the difficulty. Because of the fact that uh, she's going on all of these dates, uh, then she's uh, getting to know all three of these gentlemen and uh, maybe there's no problem when it comes to how she feels about that situation because if you notice in each date uh, she's highlighting something that's being done for her uh in that small clip you know i i guess it would be uh, virtually impossible for her to highlight what's being done for her and what she's doing for them uh, but we can only go by what we've seen. She is highlighting what is done for her. And to me, that seems a bit selfish. It, be, it seems a bit self-centered if you ask me. Because uh, in looking at the video in the short time that we have, she could have uh, highlighted other things about the three gentlemen. She could have highlighted uh, something that, that was more constructive, but she chose to focus on the things that they were doing for her because in this situation, it was all about her. What's next? Uh, if you notice also, uh, there was something that was a bit uh, disturbing to me, especially the final part of the video where she comes home to rose petals on the floor and they're put there by her man, as she calls them. But now if you notice, she called all three of them her man. So it's a bit of uh, confusion as to what, what was the point of the video. But now I'll tell you that, as I mentioned before, uh, I'm really cautious about how I will interpret this video because it could be an open relationship. And if it is, then the parameters are absolutely different. But if we're looking at it from a long-term a committed monogamous relationship uh, then this particular woman is absolutely self-absorbed she has one gentleman at home waiting for her uh, under the pretense that he is in a committed relationship with her and she in turn is out with two other gentlemen as if that relationship does not exist now if that's the case then we most definitely have a problem there's a difficulty here there's a bit of 
uh, uh, I would say uh, self-serving. I would say that uh, she is most definitely being dishonest. And I would say that she's painting a picture for one man that she's not painting for the rest of them. Or maybe she's painting the same picture for all three. Uh, it's difficult to say. But I will say this. Uh, what really uh, got my attention, what really uh, perked my attention up is the fact that at the end of the video, after highlighting that she is involved with three men and that these three men are doing certain things for her uh, because she's all about herself she made the statement that ladies should not settle and see i don't equate settling with what she's doing and i don't equate not settling with what she's doing because you must understand that uh, when you take on this particular kind of lifestyle in order to only focus on your needs there's going to come a time when individuals are going to recognize that you're selfish and then when they recognize that this is the uh, a main factor that's driving you as a person they're going to distance themselves they're going to uh, get out of your way right because selfish people have a tendency to push people away because of being self-absorbed uh, so i hope that in this particular instance this young lady uh, has a plan in regards to how she wants to handle her life in the future because if she doesn't she's going to end up alone and miserable and that's easy for me to say because uh, as we mentioned uh, that's the end result of anyone who is unwilling uh, to live up to the terms of what a real relationship is if you're in an open relationship then i'm willing to say that there has to be some parameters that you have to meet but then if you're only concerned with yourself, you can't meet those parameters. Then if you're in a committed monogamous relationship, there are some parameters that you have to meet. And if you're only concerned with yourself, if you're self-serving, you won't meet those parameters either. So in any situation you get involved in, if the focus of the situation is only you all the time, then those relationships are not going to work because it has to be an exchange. I give, I take. I give, I take. So my final thoughts. Uh, settling is when you have worked hard for something and you intentionally choose something less than uh, what you've worked for. Settling is seeing that there is value in a certain item or a certain a situation or a certain person and you intentionally choose to go below that value settling has nothing to do with how many men you date and what they do for you that's the wrong definition and for the life of me i can't understand why it is that people both men and women subscribe to this particular position what's wrong with having a stable home What's wrong with having a partner that is reliable and dependable? What's wrong with uh, having things in order in such a way that uh, life goes uh, very well for you? How is this settling? How is it? It's a wonderful thing to be involved in any of the situations that I just mentioned. And if you have those situations, please understand the value of what you have. Stability is not settling. Dependability is not settling. Having somewhere that, someone there that's reliable and that can help you to get the things that you need, that, a situation where uh, the things that uh, may weigh heavily upon you, you can share it all with that particular individual. This is not settling. But I will tell you what settling has to do with. Settling has to do with things that in the end won't make a difference at all how handsome or how pretty an individual may be right their uh, particular personality whether or not they have swag these things in the end will make not one difference because regardless of what they have if they're not dependable or reliable if they don't if they don't bring some substantial to the table then in the end what they bring if not substantial, like I mentioned, 
uh, is not going to help you in the future. It's not going to help you to move forward. It's not going to help you to build. And it's not going to help you to have something that's going to be of lasting value. So can we please put this settling thing to sleep? Uh, it, it needs to be done away with. The more we focus on settling, the more unhappy we make ourselves. Instead of looking at what we have and valuing what we have, we're discontent because we feel like we should have something else that may not even be within our reach. We need to stop this. Those are my thoughts on the video. As, as I mentioned, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be easy.